Well, hello, combat crew, and welcome to another mask thing by me, Anthony from Bizarrely Funny. We're gonna make a new mask with uh, the mask that Parton Prince sent us as a little bit of a bonus. We weren't expecting to get this, but here it is Noob Sabat, who's not in MK1. Bihan is, so it kind of makes sense, right? It's a noob mask, and if you look at it, it's already done. I don't need to do anything. Thanks for watching. I've been... No, I'm just kidding. Because we gotta do something with it. And the only reason why I'm here right now is because I figured out something I want to do. Here it is. Untouched. This is how it arrives. Pardon Prince makes it just like this. You can see the vents. Hex vents. It's too see-through. If you put this on your face, the skin can be shown through these big vents. And the vents need to be smaller. The strap mounts are built in. You can tie the strap in instead of glue it. You're done. You've made the new mask work. Sorry, Black. What's the idea, man? To make it a reason to have this video exist, I'm gonna hydro dip this. So if you don't know what hydro dipping is, it's when you dip the object that you want to paint into a body of water that is covered by a design or paint, and the paint literally sticks to it, and it's done. I've wanted to experiment with that, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this storage container where you can get from any boutique, like Walmart or Fred Meyer or any place that sells storage containers will have one like this. If you don't care about ruining something because you will get paint on it, because you have to fill this with water to the point to where you can submerge this and then bring it back out. So it has to be at least deep enough for you to be able to do that. When it comes down, you want the paint to be able to go from the edge and bring itself in and cover the entire side. The idea is we're gonna make this. Why would we paint it anyway? It's gonna be black, you won't see anything. This is nothing special extravagant about hydro dipping to a black mask if you're just gonna use black colors. That's why I'm not gonna do that. I had an idea. While we're on the subject, Liu Kang, of rewriting all of the stories that make our characters who they are, why not Noob 2? Instead of Noob being uh, a revenant form or a reanimated Bihan, what if Noob is the embodiment or spirit of corruption? Bihan's a dick in this MK1 game, and there's no hiding that and there's no denying it. Bihan is a bad guy. They made him a bad guy. But what if it's because Cybot is corrupting him? A spirit, something sent to him to whisper in his ear to tell him to do the wrong thing. Like a symbiote in Spider-Man. Like the black suit, it just corrupts. But the, the idea of that is that this would be blue, but being taken over by darkness. So you see what I'm saying? So I want the blue and the black to kind of swirl together in chaos all over this and that gives us the idea that gives us the reason to have a video like this and hydro dip a mask in the first place but the rule is you want to use rust-oleum because it works the best this is rust-oleum blue but this is a krylon black and uh, we don't really know how i don't know if this is a deal breaker i don't know if this, what, if this is going to mess it up in my mind i'm going i don't really think you can and i have in this envelope right here Something I'll do afterwards to... These vents are too big, like I said. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue on the inside of them. This is steel mesh, like a screen door. You get them in sheets of, like, sheets of basically eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. You just cut that out in the shape that you need here and then hot glue it in place and uh, we'll see how that goes. So let's get to kind of putting everything together. Almost, almost forgot, I do want to heat shrink it a little bit. I always do. You, know, you want to make a perfect fit, you always got to do something with heat. Man, there's so much stuff in here. I am, I am surrounded by things. Don't do this if you're afraid of burning your house out because this is, this is just stupid. You just want the heat to make malleable a little bit because it's easy to go way too far with a flame. Feel this. Feel it. Feel it. Like that. Like that. That's what we want. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna fold that crap out of the way. So what I'm doing is just taking this knife 
honer and picking that part that my nose was sitting in between and putting it to the top so that my nose fits in it better. That's gonna be so hot. <laughs> Where's my fan? Oh, that's right, it's winter. I don't need it. Woo! There we go. Fit it! Let's get that hydro dipping something. We're outside now. So we have our basin. Got a hose over here. I'm wearing sandals. water. And what I have, I have here a snake. Usually used to pull hair out of drinks. Yeah! It's got little spider hands on it. But I'm gonna use that to grab the inside of the mesh and dip it into the paint without getting my hands dirty. I'm gonna take this pretty close to the top because we need to be able to get down and up. I think. This is all theoretical because I've never done this before. I saw Jazza do it. Does anybody watch Jazza? That's enough. So now we have our basin it's filled with water. And now we're going to pass the paint. This is going to be the fun part. Come here. Come hither. I'm wearing things that I won't want to get paint on. Anyway. We got blue and we got black. So the black will be on the, the bottom. If we go through this way, it will basically top down layers. So the first coat on this should be black. No, it's the other one. Right, wrong. What? <laughs> watch, watch the paint doesn't work, watch. No! My eyes. <sighs> this is the Krylon, by the way. This is one we're not supposed to be using this for. Now look at how it like sits on the water. You see, you see how it sits on the water? Do you see how it sits there? It makes this kind of weird, craggly, squiggly stuff, you know? And that's kind of what we want to happen in between layers of blue. We want blue. Look at that. Just you can just you can just look at it. Like <laughs> it looks great, right? It looks cool. Since this is already black, I don't really need to go crazy with the black. But we kind of need to mix them up. We want to swirl around, adding bands to the black and the the black and the blue because we want it to look like this swirly chaotic inner struggle thing to occur i don't know if there's a waiting period i don't know if i have to wait any period of time before i can dip this this is very interesting to me this is actually more fun i don't need to paint you don't need to paint the mask no you can just do this might be getting carried away. I might have, I should, I should have probably gone by now. We're gonna dip this. I'm gonna sit on this shopping cart right here. See it grabs? We're gonna grab the interior of this mask with that. Works like a charm. All right, so then we're gonna just shove it in these holes. Grab it. Boy, think it's gonna let go? Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. We're dunking this bad boy in here. There's a technique to this that I can't actually ignore. You have to kind of roll it in. So here it goes. Do this, shake it around, the paint to let go of where it's overstaying its welcome, which is the edges. You don't want it to kind of stick around at the edge. There's an art to this. This is art. What am I talking about? Are you guys ready to look at this staying? <laughs> and we got a hydro dipped noob sabat mask and it's going to dry this way in about i'll see you next tuesday I... and now that it's what are you doing over there it's been a long time it's been plenty of time for
for this to dry all the way, we know it's dry. It's been a month. And I sealed it. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, I sealed it with a clear coat of Krylon. And if you remember in the last shot, you can kind of see some gaps being bridged, which looks really cool. But when it dries, it's going to be brittle and flaky and come off anyway, so I just removed those. And now we can do some interior work. Remember that mesh stuff I was talking about? We're going to do some mesh things with some mesh. Remember how I said it was messy in here? It is. But I don't care. So. This is the mesh we're gonna use, and it's not black, as you can tell. But first, we gotta cut it out. So we got these vents here, these channels, and we're gonna put the mesh over them and glue them in place. So, they gotta be the shape of those vents, but just a little bit more. And you see this little vents in the middle that I also have to do? I could just do a big one and just cover the whole thing and not have to worry about cutting out two pieces and gluing them in. This is probably what I'm going to do. So, we're going to refine that later. We're going to do like a rectangle of the, the width of this thing. Like that. And then we're going to cut it with some scissors that we want to ruin. See if it cuts it. <laughs> Go! Alright, it works. Mm -hmm. Ah, shoot! Woo! Uh, it, this is very sharp. When cutting mesh, it's best to go in a straight line, not... Uh, a circle. Just gonna cut this to, to three pieces. You can do this. Scissors, you got it in you. <coughs> well, that fiasco's done. We got three rectangles. Right, left, middle. But first, we gotta kinda die. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually paint these black. So, what I'm going to do is stand as far as I can away from it while still being able to paint it. If I stand really close, it'll clump, it'll get really wet, and it'll smear and uh, cover up the holes. So I'm back outside. Kind of. I am. Um, it's raining out here, and the only place I could think of to keep dry and that I don't care to get paint anywhere is my daughter's playhouse. So, I've got the, in the middle and the, and the gravel. And uh, stand a bump our head on the ceiling, and then and then and turn it around so you're very dizzy. Point it down and spray relatively far. Oh, am I even looking at the thing that you're? All right, here it is. You can see how they're darkening up. Nice. And now to dry. It's gonna take a while. And we're back in. So I have these. There. That. Why do I do this? There's three now darkened rectangles. Looks like that before. No, it looks like this. this is a really weird cone shape. That's gonna bother me. Put it here like this. In. Gotta go inside. Yeah. Goes away from me. This will be tucked underneath the risen part, so it's less likely to touch me. So I can do some gluing. That's fair. This is going to poke me a lot. This is, could poke me, but I put it under here so it doesn't touch me. And uh, I have to do another one because it's upside down. This is a lot of over-the-top stuff for a concept mask. This is going to be weird. Okay, that's already drying. This I can't reach, so I'm gonna go over the top now. Okay, that was like one stick. Chop, chop, chop. Hold that down to see if it stays. I can't believe I'm using one glue stick a panel. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this risen part goes under. Oh, that's actually easier to do. The point of this is to hydrate it, but not to mesh it. I wanna mesh it up. I turned off the power strip. That was a lot to get those in there. There's what that looks like. Uh, luckily you don't see the inside of a mask from the outside. Well, wow, there you go. All right, so I need to do a pad for this giant gap. We'll take this block of foam that we found in a something that was sent to me. 
with my crappy scissors that I ruined. Like this. Edge. Big Edward scissor hands. Now, look, I've got a mustache. I'm gonna put it in there. I'll put the mustache in, in the vent, like this. Neat. I got a pad mustache now. Ha <laughs> ha! Super. Anyway, to the blower! To the blower! This is, the, this is my favorite part. Oh, it's got mounts, member! Member! Remember, it has mounts. Get the strap in those slots. Put it on my face. How much do we need? Well, we can fix one side and determine how long to make the other side. I'm gonna tie it. Because we're, we don't want to glue it down. Loop, right there. Ooh, there are some fumes in there. <laughs> I gotta wait a little longer. Fumey. And we go tie this side and we will have a finished mask minus pads Let's put this bad boy on first we can do some sexies as they call in britain for like b-roll of food the end with it on my face and I hope that you enjoyed the journey it took to get here. What is this video anyway? Is it a tutorial? No. No it isn't. There are many ways to do it better than I did. This is just how I got here. How we got here. You watched me do that and I hope you were entertained at least. It did turn out pretty cool. I must say. Not very comfortable though. So this mask shape that it is uh designed in requires pads inside. There are pads here that I uh, put at the lower jaw, some weather stripping there, a little pad there, the chin. There's balance now. Boy, those fumes though. I had to wait a day because my impatience to decide to use super glue as the adhesive was stupid. Everybody probably already knew that was gonna happen. I thought I could dry it fast enough, but no, I had to wait a day so I didn't get punched in the face and in the eyes by the fumes coming out of the mask. Don't do that. Use Elmer's glue and wait the same amount of time. Or just hot glue like I had in my hand but I was too lazy to find another glue stick for. What a mask. If you want a mask like this, get one from Pardon Prints. Websites that the, in the doobly doo. Thank you for watching. I hope you could at least laugh at my pain. And I'll see you next time. Whatever the hell it is, that there, there, there will be. Bye-bye, well, everybody. Hope you have a great day.